Hello everybody, what's up and welcome to the channel where we learn to be true heroes in the world of Overwatch. Today I have a game commentary because we have that World Cup hype, so I figured I would do a game from the European Qualifier Playoffs. This is Iceland versus Germany. Iceland will be on the blue and Germany will be on the red. So this was a full series. I'm just going to do this one game though on Hanamura because I thought it was pretty cool and interesting and it had a lot of good points that uh, you guys could take out of it. I know I certainly did. So if you want to see the full thing, definitely go check it out. It was a pretty great match. We're going to go over a little bit more with tanks. Now, last match commentary I did, we went over the 3-3 comp. A little bit about that. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link maybe uh, here. And you can check that out. But anyway, Iceland is going to be running three tanks of their own this game. Germany, a little bit more of a standard comp. But they're also going to be running the Hanzo instead of three supports. They're just going to be running two, which is the Lucio and the Anna. And we're going to see how... A tank-centric comp really has to be very focused and dedicated. Very has to be played in a very specific sort of manner. You can't just play three tanks and be like, oh, tanks are OP or four tanks or something, and just wreck people, roll your face on the keyboard. Because we're going to see here, so here's Germany's pushing in, and they're in. They just got in. Nothing's happening to them. And nothing is going to continue happening to them, because Germany has absolutely no DPS to exert over any range. You can see the shield's still up after 10 seconds. It finally goes down. But Germany pretty much just waltz right in. They have full control over the site now. At this point, it's very, very difficult for Iceland to do anything because there's all these different flanking routes that you can go all the way around Hanamura once you are into that one first initial choke. Germany is going to wind up taking the point. They had that huge positional advantage. It was pretty much impossible for Iceland to do anything about it. They were 5v6. Germany was all around them. It would have been some sort of monster hold for Iceland to actually stop them at that point once they had allowed germany to just waltz through the door so iceland is going to switch off to a may here and it's going to wind up doing a lot of work but it really is germany's fault for letting it do this much work and we're going to see why now if we look at iceland's team it still doesn't have really any damage whatsoever now germany's going to walk in there but look at where the, look at what the reinhardt's doing he's just waltzing into the point he knows the way the may wall's down his team's probably shouting that there's a may wall and yet he's still, coming up, he's still coming up here onto the point like nothing's wrong. Like, yeah, it's just a normal take. There's a May Wall, whatever. But you can't approach it like that. You can't just let the May Wall decimate you. And we're going to see that that's what's going to wind up happening here. Now, let's look at Iceland's comp again. They still have pretty much no mid to long range. They have the May spamming icicles. Maybe the Roadhog can get a hook. But that's about it. And that's up to Germany, like that's on Germany if they wind up getting killed by any of that. So Germany wants to take the longest angle possible. Now let's look at Hanamura, just one sec. All right, so this is point B, the one we're dealing with. Now Iceland is here. This is where they're defending from with their short range close up team. So I just said we want to take the longest angle possible. All the angles available to us on this map, there's four. There's this one, this one down the center, this one up the side, up the stairs, and this one over here. So the longest angle is clearly this one. This one, these two are really bad because they're pretty close. You know, they, this team can just jump down. And middle looks okay, but at the same time, again, the team can just jump down and they're right here. It's pretty close, a little too close for me. So we need to do this. This is the optimal entrance but how do we get here obviously not all heroes can go over that and you can't really go through this way because you're getting into this close quarters combat which is not not very good so how do we get there well remember i said reinhardt did something wrong reinhardt did something that i disagreed with so remember he just kind of strolled in here the may wall went down he came and he went here basically into the maw of death like he was definitely gonna die instead what if he just did a little hip hop down here no one can shoot at him. They can't pursue him. Like, they can't chase him. He could just waltz right over here and set up over here. No problem. And then the rest of his team, when the May Wall went down, could just come over here, waltz along, follow him as well. This is a very underused entrance, in my opinion, for Hanamura, by the way. Come over here. And now suddenly you have a giant push this way. You've already circumvented the wall. No problem. That's wasted. And you can come in. Iceland would be stuck up here, or maybe if they jumped down, they would be like in this area back. And you could get lots and lots of shots and damage off before they could even get to you. In fact, you could even stay here and just use this little corridor for cover, shoot in, poke them out, and slowly advance. Now, yes, the May can wall off this entrance, but again, even if the May walls off this entrance, whoever gets walled off can just whoop, hop off, 
and come right back. No problem, now the wall is down, you can continue. But I can tell you right now that that's not what Germany did, so let's see what Germany, well, did in actuality. Instead, they go down here into this bottom path. Now again, I went over this before, this is still pretty close. These guys are just going to jump down and absolutely wreck you. I can see it, ha you can see it happening right now, this is terrifying, right? Well, guess what? That's what happens. So, Iceland is going to drop down, surround Germany, and it's going to be a pretty bad time. Now, there's a reason that that particular entrance is not used very much. It is situationally good with some teams against some teams, but that back entrance has a lot of disadvantages with not many advantages. So we're back. Germany is respawned. I know it looks like I keep playing the same clip again. It's not, I swear. These are actually different pushes. They're all going the same way. If you can see Germany actually switched off to a Reaper, try to get that close range dominance when Iceland drops down. But as I said again in the last video, yes, Reaper is a quote unquote tank buster, but he is not a triple tank buster. Three tanks plus a May are going to beat a Reaper out in close range combat any day, anytime. So again, Iceland's just going to drop down as Germany walks right into their arms and uh, just tear them up. So Germany is actually, I would, uh, I would argue, actually the technically, mechanically better team of the two. But you can see that Iceland is just getting a better position and really tearing Germany up. This looks like no contest at this point. All right, so this is the next push. Again, Germany respawn. There isn't really hap anything happening in between. There's no flanking or anything going on, so I feel no problem skipping through here. And we're going to go through, again, this entrance. But as I said before, when I was going through the map with you guys, um, Iceland can just jump down, walk over, and again, close angles mean Iceland wins. It is actually worth noting that Germany switch off of the Zarya, their off tank, to play the Reaper. So they're actually, they actually just got rid of a tool that would have helped zone Iceland's short-range heroes out. So they actually just gave up a very strong tool against short-range comps uh, to get that Reaper. So that, that makes it even worse. Now we're going to see a little bit of a different push this time. So Germany is going to go down the center. I mean, they did this the first time. But here we go. So the maid's going to come in, waste her wall. That's going to wind up being pretty big giving Germany the choke point very, very easily. Germany's going to waltz right in here and pay attention to the Reinhardt shield in particular. Now, Germany's going to walk in and just no damage, really. Yeah, it eventually goes down, but Germany has been on this point for a good five, six, seven seconds with absolutely nothing happening to them. And that's going to let them actually go into the site, let the DPS get the longer angles. And we're going to see that Germany is going to relatively convincingly take this fight. Really, really nice play by Skipjack on the Reinhardt. Charging the Ana boosted Reinhardt on the other team, which not only is going to wind up dealing a lot of damage killing him, but also wasting a ton of time on it. So, great play by the Reinhardt, but in general you saw that, that was a very, very dominating fight. Just Germany didn't get caught up in that death trap of Iceland, jumps on them with their big strong fists and punches them in the face you know so we just saw that germany managed to take point b with about a minute and a half left on the clock not the best time definitely but certainly playable certainly something that they can work with in this match now iceland is going to be on the attack and they're running triple tank with anna lucio and a tracer now i actually really like tracer on hanamura specifically and and all these two cp maps because they can really turn the other team's attention away from you specifically on point a and that's what half a cool is going to try to do here, but it's just not going to work out. If he'd gone through this window, I think it might have been a lot better. But Iceland is going to do something here. They're going to do a play that I love, and this is something I've been wanting to see out of teams for a long time. And it's starting to just now catch on. So you see, the team got walled off. Now, unfortunately, Germany didn't wind up walling any of them out. All six of Iceland's team got in, but it doesn't matter. Even if it was a few, as long as the Reinhardt gets through, this is what you should do. You can do this. So they immediately push into this side area where it's very difficult for Germany to pursue them. And you're going to see they get a pick here. They have a pick on a Reaper. So this is huge. Iceland should win this. They're in a position to win this. But um, I'm not really sure where their Reinhardt went. I legitimately do not know right now where the Reinhardt is. If you look, Reinhardt is definitely alive for Iceland, but there is no Reinhardt. 
over here. And it's going to wind up, their entire team's going to pay the penalty. And, oh, there he is. Did you see him back there? I Just a little, little bit of a glimpse, I think, we saw of the Reinhardt. I don't know how he got over there. Oh, yeah, there he is. I have no clue. I have no clue how Arnathor got over there on Reinhardt. But it wound up costing Iceland, pretty pretty convincingly costing Iceland the point. But if you ignore that, that was a great, great push through, great response to the Maywall. And they were in a great position. I keep saying great, great, great position to take that point. But we're going to try again. However, Germany now has the ultimate advantage. Specifically, they have May ultimate. Now, I am pretty convinced. I've really been looking hard at this. And I feel like you literally cannot take this point if the other team has a May ult up. Like, I, I feel like it's pretty much impossible, all other things equal. So, if anyone has any ideas, go ahead and throw them in the comments. We'll check them out. But I th I think the May ult is just so, so strong in this first point of Hanamura. So anyway, they're going to push Iceland back, but now Iceland has a push of their own. So no more May ult, they know that. And I think that if they do the same strategy and just maybe prevent their Reinhardt from teleporting across the map this time, they can do really well. But you see that they don't. Instead, they push all the way up onto the point, and it's going to wind up costing them pretty badly. So this is something you might see in competitive a lot, in matchmaking and ranked, where teams just storm onto the point. And so a lot of you know firsthand how this usually does not work out very well. They're pretty much just running through a gauntlet of death that Germany has set up. And, I mean, they got some damage out, but overall, all it did was give the May on Germany another ult. So here, the, again, the May has her ultimate now. She's at 90%, but she'll have it just one icicle, no problem. So again, I'm going to say that Iceland pretty much is going to lose this point. It's really, really hard to push through this. So the May ult comes out. We see some picks come off. So Germany, again, holds the point. But now we have nothing. We have an Anna ult. We're probably going to have a Reinhardt ult, but that's not a big deal. We have no other ults, no defensive ults, specifically no defensive ult against Zarya. That's pretty big. No Zenyatta ult up. So let's see. Iceland only has one minute left. This is kind of their money push. We really have to push hard here. Let's see what they wind up doing. The Tracer gets in, draws some distraction, and here comes the push. They managed to, that looked weird, but they managed to somehow clip in about three players. We see, though, that, again... Two players wind up getting walled out this time. And I, Iceland's strategy, the first push, worked so well. If they had just pushed up here, chilled out until the ice wall went down, they had such a huge advantage in as far as ultimates went that I think they would have been fine. Instead, they push out. We have a couple players come over here. We have a couple players come out here. There's a couple players coming over here. So they're just all split up, which is going to let this Anna ulted Reinhardt tear them apart just absolutely tear them apart and that's what he does and so we see two picks for germany ultimates come out people die and that's going to be the game for germany so in conclusion iceland was running that tank centric comp but you really have to be playing on point and really really be careful with your movements because it is a very movement based team comp you have to be right up in their face so if you can't do that you're going to have some issues and that's what we saw with iceland this match and germany eventually wound up exploiting it, it took them a little while on point b but they eventually got there anyway i hope you guys took something out of it hope you enjoyed maybe even had a little bit of fun so good luck in solo queue and have a great day peace out guys <laughs>